every BMW X5 owners should get this fluid change at 50,000 miles. So stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn on the post notification leave me comments in the section below like and don't forget to share this video guys I keep on saying a lot of you guys are watching my videos but are not subscribing to my channel guys I do not charge for subscription for my channel so please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on that post notification for all my future videos now, as you can tell by the intro, I'm gonna get these flow change. It was recommended by my mechanic to do it at 50,000 miles. So I'm heading to his shop right now to go ahead and um, get these fluid changes done. I'm using this mechanic shop that my friend M God, I don't know if you guys know him. I'm gonna use um, this mechanic shop that he referred me to, to do these um, fluid chain. So I'm gonna head to Queens right now, to the mechanic shop and um, to get this fluid change done. All right, welcome back guys. So I just pulled up at the mechanic shop. Um, they call the stand shop. They're located in Ozone Park, Queens. As you can see behind me, the stand shop. So I think they mostly specializes in like suspension work, but I see they do all kinds of services, brake, engine repair and all that. But I think their signature is mostly focused on suspension. So I spoke with the owner, Keith, um, there's a car on the lift right now, so as soon as that car comes off the lift, then my car is going to go in. change the front diff, the rear diff, and also the transfer case. So we're going to flush all fluid and put in new fuel, um, fluid inside. So I'm going to show you before what the fluid looks like when he drains it and how the, fuel, the fluid should look after he puts it in. Alright, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is the, the, the mechanic. Can you explain what's going on? What's your name? What do you do at the shop? Uh, I'm live. I'm one of the workers here at the shop. Shop. Uh, right now, I'm taking off another tray for the, to get to the front diff. Okay. Um, and then I'll drain it. Top it off. Work my way back. Okay. Case nice, red diff. Okay. So you do recommend me um, for any like BMW owners X5, whatever model to change the differential fluid, differential or the transfer case at fifty thousand miles. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so basically he remove all these panels from underneath the vehicle so he can actually get to the transfer, um, to the front diff. I'm assuming this is the front differential right here. There are a few bolts that holds down these panels right here. I'm not sure what size bolt. I think these bolts are probably like 15 millimeter bolts. So you gotta remove those. I think they're like one, two, I think I have five of them. Yeah. All the bolts are up here. So you remove all those bolts to get to the front div. So when he comes back, we're gonna um, drain it and um, we're gonna see what the flow look like. What size Allen keys are you using? 14. 14 millimeter Allen key to remove this bolt. That's the bolt to, um, to drain, the set screw to drain. Um, so right now the fluid is gonna come out and you're gonna see the condition of the fluid. It's not bad. Okay. Hmm? No. Okay. So basically the fluid is not bad, but you know it's 50k miles, like a preventative measure, so I'm just gonna do it. 
just to be on the safe side. And that's all the food that came out. That's it. Are you serious? I thought it would be more. Oh, so that's basically a pork. A little bit less. A little bit less. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah, they, they don't take a lot of them. Oh, they don't. Okay. So basically, that's it, guys. Is it's a little bit of fruit that came out. He said that the transfer case does not take a lot of fluid, so the fruit doesn't look bad. I can smell like it was burning, so it had this burning smell. So, um, like I said, I'm just doing it because the preventative measure 50 came out. It's recommended, so I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so he just secured the set screw back in place to close the transfer case, the front diff. Now, what are you going for next? The fill. The what? The fill hole. The fill hole? Okay. Yeah, so the drains at the bottom. Okay, and the fill hole is to the side. the side. Okay. And it's the same size um, Allen key for both, yeah. um, for both plugs. I think normally if a dealer is doing it, they probably just drop all of this, right? Probably. Just to charge you a whole bunch of money. <laughs> just to charge you a whole bunch you of money. You know. Exactly. All right, guys. So when he pulls that drain hole, we're going to come back. All right. So he did get the, the bolt out. So now, what is this you're using? This is um, it's a pump to push the fluid into the engine. Okay. So he's gonna use. Uh, I'm using this differential. It's red line. It's red line 75W85. And that's for the front. So each compartment in the front and the rear uses two different type of differential flow, correct? Okay. Different weight. Different weight? Right. So basically the same, but it's just the weight is different. This is 75 that were 90. A little bit different weight, right? So this is for the rear. Okay. Now the hose is inside of the drain just, hole. Just careful, don't. Huh? Just careful, don't squirt you on the Let's go. Out. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Someone just pulled back. He said to step back. A little bit. All right. Okay, so there's the overflow. So business is so much, so much all came out. It, it's okay, right? It's so full. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Still coming out, right, so basically, you're basically put more than what it actually takes so it can overflow. Yeah. Okay, which, which makes sense. So the front diff is done. As you can see, the guys, the oil looks totally different comparing to when he um, actually drained it. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the transfer case. 
Is there a specific um, pound feet that you, you taught the bowls I mean, to? Like a, like a half a turn pass, like hand tight. Okay. So that's it. All right, so he's make sure everything is torqued down to spec. All right, so that's it. So the front differential is finished. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the transfer case or the differential? The rear transfer case? Okay. So we'll be right back when he gets to the transfer case. Okay guys, so we hit a snag um, when we were doing the rear and the transfer case. So, so um, both um, compartment needs a suction tube to suck the fluid out and to pump the fuel, the fluid back into the compartment and they don't have um, that part, they're gonna order the part and whenever time the part come in, they're gonna call me and let me know to come back and we can go ahead and um, finish up the fluid um, change. So stay tuned for part two. Okay, welcome back guys. So today marks a week and a half since I did the filming of the first part of this video where I went to the stand shop to get the differential and the transfer case fluid change. Now, they didn't have the part to remove the fluid and to put it back in. They said that they was gonna order the part and until now, nobody called nobody have said anything i tried to reach out to them and no one answered no one got back in contact with me so i guess that's a dub and um i will not be using that shop anymore so as of the filming of this um video i am back at m life that's where i always go to and um i trust those guys i don't know why i went you know, i mean out and have somebody else you know work on my car but i am back at mlife and they're gonna finish go ahead and finish um removing the fluid and uh, put the fluid back inside uh, the transfer case and the rear differential so i'm waiting for them to get a lift right now so um they could take the car in and um get the process started so stay tuned okay guys so the car is in the shop and um it's on the left right now Tell me guys, what do you think about the wheels? Do you like the wheels? Alright, so... So this is ready. He's gonna be taking care of the, the fluid change. So he's um removing these panels to get to the transfer case. So we're doing the transfer case first, right? Yeah, transfer case first. Then go to the back. Okay. So on the transfer case, where the plugs are um, located and what um, type of um, socket? It's an 18 socket uh -huh. and an 18 wrench. Okay. So we remove the transfer case bracket mm -hmm. and we just get to the drain plugs. The drain plugs, okay. Because I noticed on the E70, um, I don't know if it's the same, it should be the same. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube, they didn't do all of this, they just, um, it's, it is, um go through it. Okay. Yeah. yeah do it the safe way. Save it safe way, yeah. Guys, so like I was saying, the shop that I went to before, they never um, called me. Or anything like that to um to finish the job because they could they never had the pump. I don't like to push up some blast, but you know, at least you could call and say something, right? Yeah, that's it. Don't just that's leave in the way. Away. Exactly. And that's why I always gotta come back here, you know. Okay guys, so this is what the transfer case looks like. So what um, size Allen key are we using? This is a 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter? And you are gonna, this is the the drain plug or the fill plug? This is the fill plug. Oh, there's, is there a drain plug actually or no? I don't really see any drain plug in here. So basically, back, so. okay, so it's only one plug. So you're gonna have to suck it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to suck it out. Okay. okay.
and so this is the suction um, thing he's gonna use and just suck the fluid out. Oh wow, so that's the fluid. Can you see the dark right? So it definitely needed to be changed. Oh yeah. So that's not good, right? So this is definitely recommended at 50k, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to go ahead and um, fill it back up with the BMW recommended um, transfer case fluid. And it must be DF DFT certified, correct? Mm -hmm. Now he's going to pump it back up. So how do you know when it's full? When it starts flowing. When it starts flowing? Okay. Guys, so this is a pump that they're supposed to get and they didn't get it. Which don't make sense, but hey. There you go. Now it's overflowing. That means it's full. So by doing this, um, this fluid change, what does um, like the transfer case? It should feel like much better, or you shouldn't really feel a difference. Right. You just know within your mind. Ma it's gonna be good. For it's gonna be good. Years. Okay. Never change it, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's that that's that for the transfer case. So he's gonna go ahead and put up back like, all the panels and put it back together, then we're gonna move to the rear.
Okay, so now we're at the rear differential. I know it has the fuel plug, the fuel, there's a fuel plug right here, right? Same process? Same process? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the OG. So now he's gonna go ahead and remove the fluid. Now he's pumping back the fluid inside the rear differential. Oh, so this already come with a with a little hole, so you just squeeze it inside. Okay. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, now it's full. All right guys, so I guess that's it for the differential and the transfer case fluid change. Um, question, the, fluid, um, the transfer case, right? Yeah. Do you need to like hook up the computer and reset something? Uh, yeah, you gotta reset the gear oil. The gear oil? Okay. So after this fluid change guys, make sure you do that reset. Okay, so now we're in the car, so he's gonna do the um, the transfer case reset. Okay guys, so there you have it. So that completes the fluid change for the transfer case, the rear differential and the front differential. I'm gonna leave all the information in the description below and also I'm gonna leave the fluids that I use for these um, fluid change. All right guys, so um, thank you again so much for tuning in. Sorry for the delay um, for the upload of this video. Um, patient is a virtue. I finally got it done. So now I can show you guys how to do 
these fluid changes all right guys so thanks again um have a great one and i catch you guys next time peace